Sharing companies under Uber and Lyft are facing new legal troubles. This time from within, the drivers have filed a class action lawsuit saying they deserve the same benefits as employees, not as contractors. Mark New has this. Photographer and father of three Michael Gamora says he was the first vetted rideshare driver ever. He now drives his own car for UberX and says the industry's fare reductions and strict rules have decreased driver profits and hurt morale. There's this constant feeling that not only are you being monitored and scrutinized, but you're on the verge of losing your access to the platform and driving. It's not a comfortable experience. Uber labels Gamora an independent contractor, meaning he does not get compensated for things like gas, mileage, depreciation, or insurance. Gamora says his breaking point was when Uber told drivers they had to agree not to be part of class action lawsuits against them or they wouldn't be allowed to drive. I've been extremely disappointed in Uber. I, I think they've been irresponsible in many respects. And I think this gives me an opportunity to participate in helping to correct some of these practices that are questionable. Uber and competitor Lyft now face separate class action lawsuits brought on behalf of drivers. In both cases, federal court judges in San Francisco ruled it will be up to juries to determine whether the ride-sharing drivers are independent contractors or employees deserving of benefits. Both judges suggested that California's laws are outdated in addressing the new sharing economy. But lead counsel on the Uber case and co-counsel on the Lyft case, Shannon Liss Reardon, says the issue is clear-cut. That's the one point on which I respectfully disagree with both judges in these cases. There's, there's nothing outdated about these laws. These protections have been in place over decades to protect workers. Um, and just because some companies are coming up with the idea of having their workforce dispatched through a smartphone uh, does not make them different from any other employers. But if Uber and Lyft lose, many analysts believe the companies will pass on the extra cost to customers. I think if the costs go up, then the cost goes up to me and you, and the demand for the service potentially goes down. And then you have less people who will even join Uber because the demand will be very different. These companies have been wildly successful. And last I've heard, Uber is valued at over $40 billion. I think a large reason why they've been so profitable is because they've just thumbed their noses at these laws that protect employees. And there's no reason why the companies need to be profiting so massively off of shifting the expenses to these workers. Lyft declined to comment, and Uber did not respond to inquiries. As for Uber X driver Gumora, He's not worried about a victorious lawsuit leading to layoffs. They're going to need as many drivers as they can to keep the balance of supply and demand uh, because the entire business model will collapse if you're not able to meet your demand. Gumora estimates he's making 30% less than last year and that presently reduced fares are only benefiting the customer at the cost of the driver. Mark New, CCTV, Mountain View, California.